Freaky pigs, strange chicks, world affairs, polar bears, fake news, nice shoes, big boobs, jack dudes, all of these things and more as I sat on the shitter. Things that I saw on Twitter. All right, so it's actually only one thing I saw on Twitter, but this has been kind of making the rounds in the past two weeks since the Super Bowl. You guys obviously remember there was a streaker at the Super Bowl. Yes. Yes. Running down the middle, the 40. Arms in the air and a victory salute. He's pulling down his pants. Put up your pants, my man. Pull up those pants. He's being chased to the 30. He breaks a tackle from a security guard. The 20. Down the middle, the 10. The 5. He slides at the 1. And they converge on him at the goal line. And then news came uh, about that this streaker actually wagered $50,000 on a streaker appearing in the Super Bowl, which would have netted him around Uh, $374,000. $100,000, sorry. So... Uh, a third of a million, basically. Uh, So as soon as this claim came out, a lot of people started disputing it, saying that for that type of prop, most books wouldn't take, you know, more than $50 or $100 for a bet. So a lot of people discounted this. It actually turned out that there was some truth to it, that him and his buddies put in a bunch of these bets with a specific sports book Mm -hmm. uh, in order for him to streak on the field and for them to get the money. I don't think it was up to 50,000 like they claimed, but yeah. The betting still happened. He went on, I guess, social media with this. Uh, He also went on a bit of a media tour talking about it. And the end result is basically the book nullified all the bets. Of course. As as one would. So in the end, not only was it something that wasn't really believable in the beginning, uh, but even if they were smart and managed to pull some version of this off by blabbing about it nonstop, now you're just going to have to pay a fine. Yeah, why wouldn't, like, why did he just not stay quiet about it, right? I mean, we do do live in a world now of, you know, people just chasing clout and just chasing, you know, any type of attention they could get. Maybe to to this guy, it's worth more than a third of a million dollars. I want to retract. I want to bet 50 gold bars that someone will go pantsless on the rubber (laughs) boot. I think Puffy already beat you to it. (laughs) <laughs> that last story speaks to how much things can be manipulated now these days right i mean um whether it's the betting or other things social media allows you to do things and you're right stop why would you just keep your mouth shut you know you're like it makes no sense to me yeah i mean i'm not telling everyone i told the least to blow that lead last night and cash in big <laughs> on that <laughs> ottawa center's bet it'll be it'll be old news by the time people listen to this but that was one of the more remarkable nights uh, on our panel because it was i just i just can't believe that happened at five to one we had our panel plans puffy had all the what we call the roll-ins the video ready we were mailing it in and then uh that was just that was a crazy game i have to uh i drank an entire bottle of uh mountain valley spring water yeah i am james duffy from mountain valley spring water When I'm doing a podcast with my friends, nothing refreshes me more than a little Mountain Valley. This is the sparkling version. I have to go pee really bad. So you guys continue along and I'll rejoin the podcast in a minute. This will go well. This will go go great. Why don't you leave the dog? We could have have the dog talk to it. (laughs) Good interview the dog. That would be pretty good. The dog would be the Actually, you know what? Uh, I was going to say, the other thing that I saw, I mean, I I don't know if you've seen this, but you guys are familiar with this story about the woman in the States that used... uh, Gorilla glue? uh, Gorilla glue. Yeah. For hair. So this past weekend on SNL, uh, Regina King was hosting. They did a a skit. Hilarious thing. But I think the fallout is that she's possibly this woman who, who did real, like basically in the skit, they say, we're not stupid. We're not stupid people, but we're, you know, mm-hmm. we're suing for millions. Right. So this, I think the fallout's going to be that there's going to be some kind of legal action possibly towards SNL about this. So really? well, towards SNL. Yeah, because I guess she's trying to make it make, make a case for herself saying, hey, listen, they, they, they slandered me the whole bit. But for me, you put no, it no, on no, Hold on. She, she slandered yeah. herself. She put glue in her hair. Yeah, that yeah, was, yeah, a, well, that's exactly that was a very bad exactly idea it. to put glue in your hair. Very bad idea. But uh, Jimmy, you're, you're just coming back here. I hope it was refreshing and uh, feel good. Feel much better. You washed your hands? Yeah, you did. Of course. Not wash your hands. No chance. <laughs> of course. We're just talking about after a pee the that length, put. there's no chance you washed your hands. <laughs> I always wash my hands. It's I've, I'm disgusted by men who don't. All right. And by the way, I've said this before, women. I think I talked about this on the pod, season one, season two. If you go into a men's room at like a football game, 
80% of the men do not wash their hands after they urinate. I, ladies, you need to know this and you need to fix your husbands because I think that's disgusting. Uh, let's move along. Anyway, we so we were talking about the uh, lady who put Gorilla Glue uh, as a hair product. Right, right, to, yeah. Uh, so I, a couple of things on that. First and foremost, I don't really even know if that's still the truth. She could have put just any type of gel in her product and pretended it was that because the entire purpose of her videos was to go viral. There was nothing else. Really? Like, why would you not go see a doctor after you washed your scalp 20 times and it didn't come out? No, you went to I the internet know. and then days later went to a doctor. I also saw a thing where TMZ caught up with her at an airport a couple days ago and they were mm. asking if Gorilla Gru had reached out to her personally. And she said, no, I would, I would have thought they would have by now. So maybe she's mm -hmm. considered legal action against a glue company yeah. that says glue on their label. And she decided to put that in her hair. Yeah. Just, uh, what kind of world do we live in? So, so uh, is, is she, uh, sorry, so is she popular? Again. Is she popular on, uh, well, she, or is she, she trying is to now get well, This is, this is how she's trying to get popular. Yeah. So, so the, the you know, uh, we we're just saying that uh, SNL did a skit about her on the weekend. And uh, I think she's considering pursuing le legal action because they didn't say she's stupid, but, but they very much implied that she's stupid. So, well, but <laughs> she, she admitted, got, she admitted that she has stupid. a great case. Yeah. I yes, mean, exactly. No. If, if so. I drank a bottle of Windex, could I sue Windex because it's a liquid? No, but you could sue Donald Trump because he told you to do that. To secure that's true. Uh, well, a lot of people were weighing in on the mac and cheese thing. Yeah, I got those as well. Do you, yeah, here. So uh, we'll actually go through that quickly. Mac and cheese. Uh, Adam Johnson tweeted in having some KD for lunch today. Forget plain or ketchup. Barbecue sauce and fresh cracked pepper is the way to go. Wow. wow. A little fancy almost with the fresh cracked pepper. Interesting. Interesting. The uh, name I uh, butchered before, Andrew Arsenal, yeah. uh, says, depends on the day. Frank's is good. Ground beef with taco seasoning is good. Sausages are good. Like the Smokies, not the breakfast sausage crap. Or go full Newfie and put some bologna in that shit. Oh, no. <laughs> I would not go bologna. Yeah. <laughs> so you draw the line at hot dogs, eh? I would, yeah, no hot dogs. I would do ground beef and taco seasoning, though. Yeah, I think that'd be pretty Not good. Bad. I think mac and cheese is one basically. of those things you could put anything in it, probably. Well, absolutely. I was I agree. terrified the other day because uh, my mother, who I love dearly, and I didn't want it to come across the fact that I, I hated her cooking or anything when I was young. I loved all those meals, all those craft yeah, dinner yeah. meals, everything she made, I loved. But she was, I was on the phone with her and she came across on the Twitter, something about, uh, uh, the aspect she, she mm -hmm. saw it somewhere. It comes across her, her iPad sometimes. And she's like, what is this about the aspect? And what are you talking? And I'm like, That's I am going to get the recipe. The recipe. Yeah. I had, I did. I said, I need the recipe. I'm going to make the aspect for my first TikTok video and we're going to put it on the rubber boots pot. So there you go. Nice. Uh, we also got a comment from Jim gray. He says Tabasco is some of the best toppings for Mac and cheese. So if mm, you like okay. a little spicy, a little Tabasco, definitely okay. won't hurt. Okay. Uh, awesome. As far as the Cheetos ingredients go, enriched cornmeal, vegetable oil, cheese seasoning, mm. canola oil, maltodextrin, mm. which sounds mm. delicious, uh, natural and artificial flavors. So you're getting the best of both worlds there. Uh, salt, whey protein concentrate, monosod oh. monosodium <laughs> glutamate, Lactic acid, citric Lactic acid, citric acid, artificial color, and then in brackets it says yellow six. So not to be confused with yellow five or yellow seven. Oh, and nice. Last but not least, salt. So what was the first? Sugar, what was the first one you read? What was the enriched very first ingredient? cornmeal? Enriched cornmeal. So not just regular cornmeal. Enriched. Has been enriched. At least we get the enriched version of it. There's cornmeal in that. Ferrosis, sulfate, niacin, thiamine. Are you looking at a bag, or are you just reading it online? Uh, I got it off the Cheetos website. So this is what's on the back of a bag. I just copied it. Does it, it say so. like sugar content or salt content? Uh, salt. Don't, worry to... no, don't worry about it. No, I don't worry about it. I just, I I was just curious sugar. myself. But like uh, when, when, when they have the ingredients, mm -hmm. is it go in order of the most? I always yes. think so, but yes. I'm not sure. If yes. That's, yes. that's, that's, that's what it's supposed those, to yeah. be at least. Uh, mm -hmm. So a single nice. serving of Cheetos provides 150 calories, 10 grams of fat, 13 carbs, and one gram of sugar and two grams of protein. How many grams of fat? Uh, 10. In one Cheeto? 
<laughs> no, in a single serving of Cheetos. Oh, okay. what's a serving? Wow. I don't know, a handful. Eight serving would be like, like eight 100 Cheetos, grams, probably. I imagine. Eight yeah. Cheetos. So if you went through a bag of Cheetos, you're probably looking at 100 grams of fat. That, and, and I don't do the... But think I of think all that, the protein. Yeah, a lot of protein. <laughs> you get jacked. Cheeto jacked. Yeah. Yeah. Cheeto jacked summer. <laughs> 